We head back to Florida. Down 2 nothing. I have no idea how this team lost this game tonight. They play probably the best first period that we have seen them play in a very long time. Somehow it's 2-1. The turnovers were just, just destroying the Leafs all night long. But Alex Kerfoot bangs at home. I think it was a rebound from a point shot at 2.20 the first period and he got the lead. Then you get a power play and Ryan O'Reilly, the Leafs dominate the power play. Marner finds O'Reilly and he buries it. It's 2-0 Leafs, 5-10 in and they have full-on dominated possession. They have dominated the chances. They have dominated every single thing possible. But then, turnover down below your own net, right? They dump it in. Lilligren gets it. I think, I think it was Lilligren. Either way, it gets turned over. Tavares blows his shoe. Samson doesn't know where the puck is. It gets centered back where it was. And it's banged in by Lundell. And it's 2-1 midway through the first period. Now again, I think the Leafs still played a pretty good rest of the first period. Shots on goal were 15-9 Leafs after one period of play. And we're thinking, that's all right. You're still up a goal here. You're feeling pretty confident about yourselves. Let's go into the second period. And let's see if we can get that next goal. Get that two-goal lead back. Well, in the second period, the Leafs come out. And I'd say for the first, what, half the period? Maybe a little bit more than half the period. They probably played one of the worst stretches we have seen all season long. Turnover after turnover after turnover after turnover. They couldn't get anything out of their own end. Now, is that a credit to Florida's forecheck? You got to give them credit for that. Absolutely, they forechecked hard. But constant turnovers. And on the fourth lane goal. Marner flips it to Matthews, and Matthews tries to chip it around the guy. It goes into his chest, and he's already out of the zone. And then, bing, bang, boom, a couple of passes later, it's in the back of your net. Barkov scores 19 seconds in off an icing. The Leafs have iced the puck so damn much in this playoffs. And you ice the puck, and it was like seven seconds into the period, and you're like, what the hell? Like, seven seconds. And instantly, Paul Maurice comes over with his top line, brings out Barkov. Leafs get the puck out, but it's turned over just outside the blue line. They come back in, and Barkov just fires it on. I don't know if there was a screen from Samsonov. It was just a knuckled puck, but it just beats him low glove. And it's a 2-2 game. 19 seconds into the second period. But then a minute six in. Less than a minute after that. That Matthews turnover occurs, and then you're losing 3-2. And then for a good 10 minutes after that, Leafs turnover at their own end. They ring one off the post. Would have been a high stick, but it's off the post. Samsonov has to make a couple massive saves to just try and keep your team in this game. And finally, I don't know what happened, but midway through the second period, they finally start to figure it out, and they start to push. Shots on goal were 10-9 Leafs in the, in the second period. But you're trailing 3-2 heading into the third. And I counted this today, and it is incredible. First off, Bobrovsky made some massive saves yet again tonight. But I counted, after the Leafs started trailing in this game, so after that minute six mark of that second period, the Leafs hit three posts. I think it was Nylander twice and Tavares once. Those are pucks that beat the goaltender and hit the right part of the post to stay out of the net. It is remarkable how the Leafs could not score in this game. That's why I started off the video saying, I don't know how they lost this. You played a pitiful 10-minute stretch in the second period. That was it. You played a great first 20, a pretty damn good final 20, and I'd say the second half of the second period, they played pretty well. But that doesn't matter come playoff time. There are no moral victories come playoff time. We talked about it in the last video, guys. The Florida Panthers are a great team, and when they turn you, they, when the puck gets turned over, they they, they go at you fast. And if you use a use a pun, all I want here, the Panthers pounce when you make a mistake, breaking the puck out of your own end in the neutral zone in your own end. They make you pay for a mistake, and I believe all three of their goals were turnovers from the Leafs on our half of the ice. That happened in the last game too. 
They made you pay for your mistakes, and that's all there is to it. Shots on goal in the third period were 11-11. Again, I don't know how they didn't score. The amount of pressure they had in the final, I don't know, 15 minutes of the third period, and Bobrovsky's making big saves. They run one off the post. Um, I don't know. Matthew Nyes leaves the game as well because Sam Bennett thinks we're in WWE right now. Um, shots on goal for the game are 36-29. I hate to say this, but the Leafs played the better game but the Florida Panthers capitalized on their better stretch. That's where I'm going to put it. Leafs played a great first period. They scored two goals. They scored one midway through the first. And then where the Leafs were terrible. And that's the funny thing, right? All Leaf fans are thinking, man, they just got to find a way to start on time, right? That's what we've talked about all series, all series, uh, all playoffs long. And Mike Babcock said it when he was here and all this stuff. And they get the first two goals in the first five minutes of the game. And you're thinking, okay, the fellas have figured it out. Well, the problem was they don't start on time to start the second period. And they get destroyed for it. They have scored two goals in each of the first two games. Bobrovsky's been good. The Leafs have were one for three in the power play. Florida had one power play. I believe it was to start the third period. No, hold on a minute. No, I can't remember when it was, but they were 0 for 1 on theirs. The Leafs won in hits, 47-42, outshot them 36-29. The, the chances were probably galore, Leafs-wise. They probably outchanced them to all hell, but it doesn't matter. It's what goes in the back of the net that counts, and Sergei Bobrovsky, in his second consecutive game, has outplayed Ilya Samsonov. Right? Like, I, I know people are going to say, well, don't blame it on Samsonov, and I'm not blaming the loss on Samsonov. I'm not. But I said coming into this series, what did I say the keys were to the game? The defense, which clearly has been an issue. Breaking the puck out has been an issue. And Ilya Samsonov, those are the least keys to victory in this series. I thought they were going to score more. Bobrovsky has been outstanding. But Ilya Samsonov has been outplayed. Let me read you his stats. And I, don't, I know what it looks like on the ice. Three goals on 29 shots, four goals on 28 shots. I ain't no mathematician, but those two are below a 900 safe percentage. I don't know about a screen on that Barkov goal, the first one the, the first one of the second period. I didn't like it. Saw so on the rush, he just fires it low, low glove and it beats him. Beats, it goes through him and that's a problem. Can't blame him on the, on the third goal because it was a nice cross seam pass and the leaves were broken down defensively. Can't blame him for that one. The uh, first goal, uh, you know, it's a turnover in your own end. And he's thinking the guy's coming around the other way. Lundell's coming right down Broadway. No one's taking him. You can't blame him for that one. Sure, I can't blame him for two of the goals, but it's the third one because that's, you lost by one. In the playoffs, this stuff gets magnified. Did he make some massive stops to keep the Leafs in the game? Absolutely. He absolutely did. But you lost by one goal. And one of the goals was a softy. That's just my thought. I don't know if it hit anything on the way through. I don't know. But it looks like it just beat him clean on my from, from my standpoint. Look, Lee fans, I'm going to end it with this. The series is obviously not over. If the New Jersey Devils are anything, they were down 2-0 to the Rangers after losing both games on home ice. They went to New York. They won both games. They came back. They won the game at home. Ended up going to Game 7, and they won in Game 7. So the series is obviously not over. And with the game of hockey, especially since the Leafs now have three days off. Well, hold on. Today's, so you have Friday, Saturday, and then you play on Sunday. Then you're off Monday. You play Sunday. You're off Monday, Tuesday. You play Wednesday. You have lots of time off to figure this thing out in between games. Look, I understand it's a, it's a tall hill to climb now. You can only afford to lose one more game. But you got to take this one game at a time. All right? And as I mentioned, the next game between the Leafs and Panthers in game three of the round two of round two of the best of seven series goes on Sunday. It's a 6.30 puck drop in Sunrise, Florida. Between the Leafs and the Panthers. Look, you go out there and win that game. Narratives change. You lose the game. Season's kind of over. You know, come back from 3 nothing, kind of slim. To none. So, every single game is a massive game moving forward. 6.30 Sunday, Florida. That's all I got for you guys. All right, so you know what? That's going to do it for this one. If you enjoyed the video and uh, 
you liked the game somehow, but the result you don't like because that's a lot of Leaf fans. Smack that like button. Do appreciate it. Hit that subscribe button. You guys not already comment down below your thoughts on the video, thoughts on the game, what you like, what you not like from today's game for the Toronto Maple Leafs. The Twitter and Instagram links are down below, so follow up there if you guys have not done so already. The Discord and TikTok links are down there as well. And I'll talk to you guys, Jay Zish, and my God, they're not playing any better. They play the Pittsburgh Pirates tomorrow in game one of their three-game series at PNC Park. Chris Bassett versus Rich Hill, 635 first pitch there at PNC. And as for the Leafs, game three, a must-win game for the Toronto Maple Leafs in Florida, taking on the Panthers on uh, on Sunday evening, 635, 630, excuse me, puck drop between the Leafs and Panthers needing a win. All right, so thank you guys so much for listening and watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and not the result to tonight's game. We'll talk to you guys then.